2003, Bruno Samoji, a former restaurant manager, grew up in the business with his family, hailing from the southern Italian region of Calabria, decided to open Plush. I grew up in my parents' restaurants, had, had my feet wet in the business. By 18, I really knew what I wanted to do was open up my own bar. To get the financing to buy the bar, Bruno took out a $250,000 lien against his grandma's house. I went to my entire family and asked around to get money from somebody, and, and my grandmother stepped forward. Well, she was afraid that she would lose that family house, and I promised her there was no way in the world that I can let that happen. But when she passed away and things started to go down, I started feeling like I was going to break my promise. After opening Plush, Bruno then hired his now ex-wife, Sherry, to help manage the bar. You can settle in wherever you want if there's room back here. When I worked at Plush, I thought it was important to greet every customer and make them feel like kind of a rock star. What's up? Peace. The two of us together worked really well as a team. Sherry took care of more of the front of the house kind of stuff, uh, interacting with customers, and I took care of the ordering and, and the business part of it. Plush's nightclub vibe took off immediately in suburban Glenside. Paying off that loan in the beginning was a breeze. We were easily bringing in about 15000 a week. All my bills were paid off within the first 10 days of the month, and I had more money than I ever thought I would need. This place was insane. It was packed the walls every day. You came here, you had a drink. It was a great place to be. You probably left with somebody. You got Eventually, the success of the business faded when the pressures of the bar drove Bruno and Sherry's marriage apart. No, you're not, you're not the only one that works hard. I gotta support you. That's what I do. If they did talk to each other, it would be an argument. Eventually, in 2013, Bruno and Sherry filed for divorce. I was willing to separate amicably. We didn't have to have lawyers at all on my end, but it got nasty along the way instead. The only time my wife and I even talk is when we're dropping off our 10-year-old daughter, Claudia. Sherry was the personality of Plush. And once she left, customers left too. Since the divorce, Bernard feels like and he's lacking the motivation he needs because he's just getting beaten down. After Sherry left the bar, Bruno struggled to manage the business. Well, the current staff has to go. They all drink too much. It's a joke. Bruno is left with a careless staff, a dilapidated bar, and $250,000 in debt. This year, I'm losing about three dollars and $4,000 a month. I am so over my head in bills, I don't even see a way out right now. My grandmother's house, it's, um, it's what built this family. It's starting to go into the foreclosure process, and uh, this is where I keep. And if I lose a house, I, I don't have anything to look forward to. On the verge of losing his bar and his grandmother's house, Bruno's agreed to pull back the doors, bust open the books, and make a call for help to Bar Rescue.